Joined now at girlsplayfooty.com by uh, Ali Blackburn. Must have been a few nervous moments there, delisted, but finally back in the blue and red. Yeah, very exciting to be back in the Melbourne colours again. I um, was a bit nervous um, coming into the draft, and when I got delisted, um, pretty heartbreaking, but definitely good to be picked up again. Yeah, it was surprising because you got the highest possessions in the last game. Did Michelle Cohen give you a phone call before the delisting? Uh, yeah, she um, she called us up and, and let us know. I think she called every player up, actually, um, which was really good, and just let us know um, her reasonings behind it and stuff like that. So, you know, it was it was good to be pre-warned instead of just read about it on social media, I guess. Now, prior to this draft, did you find yourself changing your game style, changing how you prepared during your pre-season over this summer? Uh, not really in terms of pre-season wise, but in my game I have changed a little bit. Um, done a couple of things differently. I worked with, with our new coach, um, a bit more on my defensive side of the game and, and my tackling pressure. So that's something um, we've been working on a little bit. So hopefully that can be proven in my game and you can see that a little bit more. It's been an amazing 24 hours for you, hasn't it? Uh, just last night knocking off Darabin, the undefeated side, claiming their scalp by 19 points. Everyone's on a high and now you're back in the Melbourne jumper. Yes, I'm um, definitely still buzzing from uh, yesterday's game. Um, we, we all got here and we all still had big smirks on our face, all the um, girls from Melbourne Uni. So, And to just be picked up again, you know, it's, it's been a massive um, couple of days. So really excited about it and um, really, I guess, relieved in the results that have um, come my way. Can you give us a little insight to the, to the mind of Michelle Cohen? Uh, how does she go about preparing you girls in the two or three days that she has before a match? Um, oh, that's a tough one. Um, no, she's um, really well prepared. I think she does her um, background knowledge of, of everyone and um, she knows she gives everyone their, her expectations and lets everyone know the role they're going to play early on in um, the few days of preparation we have. And you know, she's just constantly informing us of stuff we need to know and, and just the way we she wants us to play the game and the way she goes about it is just really good and really inspirational um, and happy to have her as a coach again. Cecilia McIntosh, we just interviewed her teammate. She's going to be pulling on the colours alongside you in Melbourne. Rumour has it that she got selected because she stood up the best after clashing heads with Elise O'Day. <laughs> um, I'm not too certain about that one. Um, <laughs> but no, it's um, very exciting to have uh, C on, on board the Melbourne team again um, for this year. You know, she's worked hard and um, made sure that she's put herself up for selection this year and it's, you know, it's just really good to see that you know the hard-working players are get, being rewarded for all the stuff they're doing behind the scenes and I know C is one of those players that you know definitely puts in um, all the hard yards and really happy to have her as my teammate. And Brooke White joining you as well? Yeah, again, uh, another player that's worked extremely hard in the off-season again to make sure she's been um, reselected. You know, it was a bit hard playing against her last year in the, as she was for uh, Doggies, so it's good to have her back on board this year. Talking about playing against some of your best players, Kerrick and Ashmore you'll be up against. Yeah, and um, Carney as well, so definitely a bit of competition in that, so a little bit of friendly fire in the games, I'm sure, but you know, it's always good to play against those girls as much as a challenge it is, but you know, love coming up against um, good teammates and good footballers, and it's always good to challenge yourself, I guess. Ali, thanks for joining us. It's easy. Thank you for that.